Hello, everyone. My name is Jill Iger, and I'm a second year writing fellow from Hancock Park Elementary in LAUSD. My Coats and Journey actually started pretty recently in 2019. And it all started with the question, what is Coatsin? So a while back, a group of teachers at my school, many of whom are now in my Coatsin cohort, um, discovered the lab school and their amazing PDs. We just loved going to their PDs and would use our sick days and even pay for the registration fees out of our pockets. I know that sounds crazy. So we could go and learn from them, but we are crazy, um, which is why we're in Kutzen and it's a good thing. Um, we had taken all the CGI classes and really, really wanted to take the inquiry class, but every time we tried to register for it, it was full. So we could never get in. And I remember telling Marietta in the office, uh, this time we're getting in. I marked it on my calendar. I set my alarm for when the registration opened and I was on it. So I went to register right away, right when it opened and it said full. And I tried several times, refresh my screen, same message, full. I'm like, how on earth can it be full? It just opened. How is that possible? So I decided I would call the lab school and ask if something was wrong with their online registration. So I explained everything to Sylvia and she said, oh no, there isn't anything wrong. It's full with the Coatsin group. And that was the first time I had asked myself the question, what is Coatsin? So she then said she could see if she could get a few of us in with the Coatsin group and she'd let us know. I was thinking to myself, who are these Coatsin people? So she actually did get us in and we finally made it to the Inquiry PD. And we were there, there were three of us and we actually ha happened to sit at the table with Jan from our neighbor school, Third Street, small world. Anyway, we were there. So excited, finally getting to learn about inquiry. And then here comes this beautiful, glamorous, fashionable, perfectly coiffed and wonderfully accessorized woman up to the podium. And she starts talking about coats and coats and this, coats and that, coats and coats and coats. And, and I turn to my colleagues and I say, what is coats and? And we look at each other and shrug. So the woman finishes speaking and starts to walk our way. And I say, should I ask what Coatsin is? And I say, yeah, 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 go ask, go ask. So I'm intimidated and I'm nervous to ask, but I decide, what the heck, you know, I may as well go to the source. So I go up to her and I say, excuse me, I know this sounds like a dumb question, but what is Coatsin? And this woman, the lovely Miss Barbara, was as sweet as pie. Not only did she tell me all about Coatsin, but she also gave me Lyndon's email on the spot and told me to have my principal email him right away because they were almost done doing their observations for the year. What timing and what a gift. Thank you, Barbara, for giving us the inside scoop and being the first to answer the question, what is Coatsin? So I've been thinking a lot about the question now that we are nearing the end of our Coats and Fellow Fellowship. And I'm, I get emotional because it's been such an amazing experience. And the answer is so many things. And I know I'm not alone in my experience. Everyone that I talk to says and feels the same. Coatsin has been the most transformative thing that has happened to me in my career. I wish that I would have had this experience earlier on. I've been teaching since the 1900s, um, but regardless, I feel so lucky to have had two amazing years as a fellow. And I am sad that they will be coming to an end. So what is Coatsin? Coatsin is generosity. Coatsin is innovation. Coatsin is learning. Coatsin is collaboration. Coatsin is support. Coatsin is acceptance. Coatsin is self-care. And Coatsin is fun. Coatsin was food, but not anymore. But hopefully soon, Coatsin will be food again. Um, Coatsin is growth. Coatsin is renewal. Coatsin is love. And most important, Coatsin is family. We all know this past year has been unbelievably challenging. And I can honestly say that if I didn't have Coatsin, 
I don't know how well I would have fared in my professional life. All those days where we were mentally and physically exhausted, but still went to our meetings anyway, were so vital in keeping the energy, motivation, and innovation going. The sharing of teaching ideas and feelings were so inspirational and necessary. They kept us connected and focused on being present and taking care of ourselves so that we could be present and take care of our students. When I say Coates and his family, I mean it. You count on family to be there for you no matter what and to hold you up and keep you going when you need it most. A family sees you for who you are and helps you become the best you can be with acceptance and love. That is what Coatsen has done for us. There is a quote that I love by Maya Angelou that says, try to be the rainbow in someone's cloud. It has been one stormy year to say the least, but Coatsen has been the ever present rainbow in our clouds. Thank you to the entire Coatsen family for your support, guidance, encouragement, care, and for giving us the opportunity to experience all that Coatsen is. Thank you.